Hi everyone, today we'll be learning how to install Final Fantasy XIV on the Steam Deck within SteamOS Gaming Mode. This method works for both the Steam and non-Steam version of the game and gives us full controller support on the Steam Deck. From desktop mode, access the Discover Store and using the Steam keyboard with Steam and X, we want to search for 14 Launcher by typing XIV and enter. Install the first result shown for the 14 launcher and once the download is complete, minimise the Discover Store and access your Steam library from the bottom right of your taskbar. Select Add a Game, Add a non-Steam game and at the bottom of the list you will see 14 launcher. Select this and press Add Selected Programs. Add the 14 launcher to your favourites. Choose the settings symbol, properties, and in our launch options, we want to delete everything in here by highlighting and pressing cut or using the Steam keyboard. Once launch options is clear, come over to the description of this video and we have two correct launch options to choose from. The first is to allow the 14 launcher to remember your Final Fantasy 14 account password in a file stored on the Steam Deck so you can log in automatically. If you're not comfortable with this then please choose the second launch option I have listed here which won't remember your login password and you will need to enter the password each time we load the 14 launcher. Once you have chosen which launch command you want highlight this and paste into your launch option within Steam. When that's done close Steam and go back to gaming mode. Back in gaming mode, find the 14 launcher and press play. On the welcome screen, choose done. Don't show this message again. But if you wish to read the 14 launcher setup guide, this is listed in the description. A username prompt will automatically appear, which for now, let's close. If you are using the Steam version of Final Fantasy 14 with a Steam account, we want to make sure Use Steam service is checked on the login screen. Otherwise, if you're using a non Steam account, we can leave this unchecked. Go ahead and enter your username and password into each field, and you will need to have an active subscription or a free trial account for the 14 launcher to recognize your details and proceed to downloading the game. If you are using a free trial account, come over to the settings symbol and make sure that the free trial account option is checked here. This works for both Steam and non-Steam accounts. Let's quickly go through 14 launcher settings just to familiarise ourselves with where our game install and config is located. I'll be showing you later exactly where this is in desktop mode just in case we ever need it. I recommend leaving all these settings in the 14 launcher as they are unless you know what you're doing after reading the 14 setup guide. Once you're ready, log in if you haven't already, and Final Fantasy XIV will download to your Steam Deck. Depending on your internet connection, this will be completed in due time. When the game download has finished, there will be a quick configuration and will be prompted the game is ready. So press the Steam button, down, and A once to switch to Final Fantasy XIV. After 10 seconds, the game will load and we'll see the Square Enix logo appear. We know everything is working as it should be when the controller calibration prompt will appear. So let's go ahead and go through this now. Once complete and you're on the main menu, press Start. Choose your data center and character and let's get into the game. When you're in game, have a run around and test out the controls before accessing one of two different settings. The first is accessed by pressing start naturally and moving over to system, system configuration, where our display and graphic settings will be located. In here, we can change from 720p to 800p by changing our screen mode to borderless windowed and our resolution presets to 1280 by 800, making sure to apply these changes afterwards. On the graphics tab, 
we can change our presets to either standard laptop, high laptop or maximum. This will be down to your own individual preference and performance will be variable across locations in game as well as how many other players, enemies or bosses are present on screen. If you find a setting that works for you, please post down below in the comments so we can compare experiences and share what's working best for one another. The second setting screen can be found in the bottom left hand corner which is called chat log settings. Here we can change a variety of configurations for the game but most importantly we want to take note that we can switch between gamepad and mouse mode here just in case this configuration has been altered. A few things to note before we close out the video. Whenever we close our game it is highly recommended to shut down the game by quitting normally through the menus by pressing start and choosing exit game. Otherwise if we press the steam button and try to quit the 14 launcher will crash and we will need to restart the steam deck. If you ever want to find your Final Fantasy 14 installation in desktop mode access home and make sure that show hidden files is enabled where a folder called .xl core will appear. Inside your installation of Final Fantasy 14 will be here in a folder called FF14. We can copy this folder if we want to an external drive if we ever need to back this up in the future. If you ever wish to uninstall the 14 launcher or start again from fresh we must go to the discover store. Click uninstall and afterwards come over to home and delete the .xl core folder in its entirety. If you wish to install cover art for the 14 launcher we will need to access settings properties change our shortcut name from 14 launcher to Final Fantasy 14 and with Deki installed and the Steam Grid DB plugin installed we can press start on 14 launcher and choose our cover art according to our preferences. I have a guide for installing Deki listed in the description which I highly recommend checking out. I hope this guide helped you all with getting Final Fantasy 14 installed on the Steam Deck within SteamOS gaming mode using the 14 launcher. I recommend the 14 setup guide as further reading in addition to this video to fortify your own knowledge on advanced features and if you have any questions please post a comment down below and I'd love to hear from you regarding your experience with Final Fantasy 14 on the Steam Deck. Until next time if you have any questions please let me know. I hope you enjoy the game, have a wonderful day and I'll see you later.